Hey peeps, it's the money load here. Hmm. The wonders of life. How it makes you think. Hey. Anyway, as you know, my voice is back. This is a manly load. And I'm going to finish off the part four after New Year's now. I'm going to wait until my voice is fully, fully healed. Um, four and five have emerged into four now. I've cut a lot of material out just to streamline it. And I hope you're more finding your path in life. And if it's your own path. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to talk today about my experience of quitting meat. I was going to KFC every single day. I was eating chicken burgers every single day for a good six months almost. I loved them. It was very cheap, I loved it. One day, I decided to change my diet to do with health because at that current time in my life, I hadn't been working because I couldn't stand up for longer than half hour without getting chronic knee pains and it's just my knee wasn't healing from a skiing accident a accident that I had in, in um, Scandinavia and so you know I'm a well travelled person I've actually been paid to I've been I've, I've been you know I've been paid to go abroad it was my job you know I was road crew a, a, a band that wanted to go big places as big as I could go anyway another story for another time but I decided one day that I wanted you know I wanted to heal my knee I'm sick of this I want to start really earning money I'm in a position right now I'm living with my grandmother hardly no rent but well, there is now. <laughs> but hardly no rent. Um, it was a perfect position for me just to fucking knuckle down, ignore everybody's ace, and just earn. And so then my mindset was to get healthy. And so I was asking myself, what? What is the biggest thing that's stopping me getting healthy? It's my mind. It's my mind. What? What? Why am I stopping myself getting healthier? And it was... Media brainwashing. Rothschild brainwashing. I realised that... My love... For something that I shouldn't love as much as I should. Which is meat and chicken. It's affecting me... Finding out... The true causes of rel rel relation to health, body, and food. It was a natural psychological obsession I had for a dopamine hit and the trauma bonding I had with my youth. You know, they do say the key to a man's heart is his belly, right? So I went through that traumatic day and my self-masochist me said you can go without meat just try it and so I woke up the next day and that's what I did three weeks passed nine weeks passed twelve weeks passed I never started eating meat. I felt the improvements instantly. 
It was amazing. I had more stamina. I recovered quicker. The only thing at the time there was lack of knowledge was the lack of the amount of carbohydrates I needed, depending on the activity. You know, because if you want to go fasting, you don't need it. You just need to prep your body for the fasting experience. It requires a lot of water. You run pack your body full of nutrients, so you got it enough nutrients to last a month in your body. And you can only do that through plants. Because meat petrifies, as in went in your body, the plants ferment and it keeps the nutrients. In fact, it, they the fermentation process in some cases actually gives you even more health benefits. But meat doesn't do that. It petrifies inside the human body. It doesn't ferment. And petrification is not good. And all these things and these things, and I realised like my addictions to meat. My lingons to meat. It actually turned me into a shitty person. The amount of people, the amount of vegans and vegetarians I spat in their face of all their hard work, effort, spiritual understanding just because my dopamine hit to meat. It wasn't right. It was wrong behaviour. It was evil. No one deserves to be spat down and spoken down to like that. They're a human fucking being. We all have, we all make our mistakes. But to talk to s down to someone like that just because of what you believe, that's not good. You're mentally ill, and I realise that my my. By brainwashing that made me addicted to meat. The social marketing, the media marketing, the Luciferian marketing, the 24 hour bloodletting bowel ritual that goes on all around the world because of people's addictions to meat and all this psychological effect, effect it's having on the people who are so addicted addicted to, attached to the taste of meat, the feeling of masculinity in meat, it making you a man. What makes you a man is someone who cares about kids. Forget about yourself for one second. And despite what you might see out there or what what people might try and defame my messages and my music but kids are the future without kids there is no future every single act thought thing we do what we eat through epigenetics our body adapts and it's passed down to our children. These things are extremely important to understand if you truly, really want to know what is best for us, the human race, you, me, everyone in the future. Because this is very important. We're all on this planet together. You cannot get off it. You cannot jump ship. It's about time you started treating people better. And that's what I told myself. And I'm still telling myself today. This morning. Right now. We all have our experience of life and our lens of reality. And treating someone different because of the taste of the food it tells me two things. You are mentally illiterate 
or you have an alternative reason. It could be money. It could be joining a club. It could be an initiation of some sorts. Or it could be the fact that you want to create your own little cult. A matter of fact is we're all here to live our life the way God has laid out for us or the Creator or our soul, our destiny, it doesn't matter, it comes in many names and different forms we are just an experience of a greater consciousness and imagine if you passed away now and you found out you was attacking yourself you would feel an absolute fucking stupid fool wouldn't you because I know I would maybe that's me because I've got a sense of uh, self awareness and self shame a healthy you know and I hope to God that you people out there can practice healthy healthy aspects of self shame become a better person but not just for you but other people and what's bad about that it can only improve your relationships can't it so try and open your mind to being a good person all this division and inviting is all down to people refusing to be good people it doesn't fit their message So let's cause wars and fights. It's very primitive. It's very low end. It's not a very good behaviour. By making someone act up and play up, you're the only one that's going to suffer. You're preventing your own evolution. I don't know what you aim to achieve by attacking someone who can help you along your path. They could have been your brother and now they're your enemy. That's a psychological problem. That's a psychological illness. How can you turn someone who's willing to do anything just to help out, just to be a nice person and just turn on them because of a taste of a food? And you regard yourself a man? Just because you can go around with a gun shooting things? A man treats humans with respect. It's a manly load over and out. Especially men who align with your goals. I hope you have a good holidays. I hope you enjoyed this 432 Hertz music. It's money load. Over and out.